Sarah's in Liverpool. How are you doing, Sarah? Fine, thank you, Ian. How are you? Good as gold at this end. What are you thinking? About the, the party gate inquiry? Ooh, well, it's only, confer it's only really put the, t put the official stamp on what anyone with half a brain would know. Boris yeah. is a narcissist. He is a liar. And he is a bully. You've only got to take a look at the way his supporters are behaving now. I don't th emotionally, and to a point mature, Im immaturity, I don't think he's really left the playground at Eton. Where Maybe not. Is he a bully, though? Well, put it this way. Looking at his behaviour, and believe you and me, in my time, I have seen more than my fair share of bullying behaviour, regardless what sphere it is in. And you always have somebody who's a narcissist who is the, the one who pulls the strings and especially the, not all the time if it's a bloke but somebody who will bully others to get their way i've seen it so often in so many sectors of industry you wouldn't believe and boris fits the bill of all the bullies that i have seen if i didn't know any better i'd swear they've been clever <laughs> because em emotionally put it that way and you take a look and you just go you're, bu you're, you're bullying. If you don't get your way, you will get... If well, you but is he... Stuff, I mean, he's, thro he's to certainly throwing his toys at the pram. There's no, there's no doubt is. about that. And he, he is a absolutely emphatic that he, he didn't do what he's questioning the way this committee went and somebody did pick up you might have heard me read it out a little earlier that boris johnson is cut from a cloth where he doesn't recognize his own relationship with the truth and genuinely genuinely it's not like he's making he genuinely doesn't see what other people see well the problem is with well the person said that was dead right and but what they've just described is somebody who was a true narcissist and narcissist, I mean, we've seen examples over the pond. Yeah, Trump of course. Uh, and, you know, and psychopathic tendencies in, in, the, in, the, in the sense of um, the, the lacking of empathy or the, the, the lack of consideration for those left behind. He said, yeah, move on, onwards, upwards, off we go. Yeah, that's, that's fine, that's all in the past, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't that's make it. him a bully, though, does it? It might make him a bit it, well, reckless. It does when you look at the way he's been behaving. I mean, most people who've worked with him always said, I mean, there are exceptions, Peter Oborn being the obvious one, but, I mean, there are, there are others who say, well, actually, he was a really nice bloke, really decent guy to work for. If he behaves, put it this way, if he behaves himself and there are others around him to check his behaviour, then he will behave himself. Those who are, shall we say, more yeah. stronger than him one way or the other. He knows he'd have to behave. But when somebody goes against him, mm. as we have seen in the past and just today... He will, he will scream and shout, he will rant and rave. I mean, really and truly, could somebody give him a sugar dummy? I because think he, he needs to be calmed down. Yeah. Either that or his mother should have checked him years ago and said, Boris, you don't behave like that. If somebody tells you off, you take it properly and you do not throw your toys out the pram. Well, you've, well, got to be, you've got to put your big boy trousers on. I mean, she should have said that years ago. Maybe, but, she tried, maybe she tried, maybe it was an impossible task. Listen, Sarah, I'm going to move on just to get more comments on. There is another thing here. Um, I, I don't come from any great uh, school or university background myself, uh, but I am aware of your man Plato. And Plato knew what was going on, all right? You know, this fella had stuff going on upstairs that people can only dream of, right? Plato's mind was full of info and wisdom, uh, hence. And there's a... Plato coined this phrase. I think I've got this right. I'm sure a student of politics will put me, put me right if I've got this wrong. Called the noble lie. It was a... a the, the noble lie is when... Those in kind of positions of authority, though, or those that have even perhaps self-elevated themselves right up there, um, can, can lie with impunity. You can tell a lie and you can do so with ease because you know more than the rest and you're doing so for good reasons. And the, it's not so much the little people don't matter. You're the one in authority. So you can tell a lie. It's a noble lie because the lie ultimately is for a good reason. And, and that, that's sort of riddled in the whole kind of you know, Greek philosophy thing. However, I, is that, I can see that with Johnson, you know, the whole Etonian thing, the whole background thing, the, 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 the only ever privately educated into the best 
university establishments only ever worked and been surrounded by those kind of people it sort of does put you in a it puts you in a place right i mean it puts you into a, a territory where you will feel a certain 